ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਟੁਡੇ ਇਜ਼ ਬਾਈ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਔਨ ਅੰਗ 596 ਆਫ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੋਰਠੇ ਮਹੱਲਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਚਾਉ ਤੁਕੇ ਮਾਏ ਬਾਪ ਕੋ ਬੇਟਾ ਨੀਕਾ ਸਸਰਾ ਚਤਰ ਜਵਾਈ ਬਾਲ ਕੰਨਿਆ ਕੋ ਬਾਪ ਪਿਆਰਾ ਭਾਈ ਕਾਉ ਅਤੇ ਭਾਈ ਮਾਏ ਬਾਪ ਕੋ ਬੇਟਾ ਨੀਕਾ ਸਸਰਾ ਚਤਰ ਜਵਾਈ ਬਾਲ ਕੰਨਿਆ ਕੋ ਬਾਪ ਪਿਆਰਾ ਭਾਈ ਕਾ ਅਤੇ ਭਾਈ ਹੁਕਮ ਭਇਆ ਬਾਹਰ ਘਰ ਛੋੜਿਆ ਖਿਨ ਮਹ ਭਈ ਪਰਾਈ ਨਾਮ ਦਾਨ ਇਸਨਾਨ ਨ ਮਨ ਮੁਖੇ ਤੇ ਤੋ ਤਨ ਧੂੜ ਤੁਮਾਈ ਮਨ ਮਾਨਿਆ ਨਾਮ ਸਖਾਈ ਪਾਏ ਪਰੋ ਗੁਰ ਕੈ ਬਲਿਹਾਰੈ ਜਿਨ ਸਾਚੀ ਬੂਝ ਬੁਝਾਈ ਰਹਾਉ ਜਗ ਸਿਉ ਝੂਠ ਪ੍ਰੀਤ ਮਨ ਬਿਤਿਆ ਜਨ ਸਿਉ ਵਾਦ ਰਚਾਈ ਮਾਇਆ ਮਗਨ ਅਹਨਿਸ ਮਗ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਨਾਮ ਨ ਲੇਵੈ ਮਰੈ ਬਿਖ ਖਾਈ ਗੰਧਣ ਵੈਣ ਰਤਾ ਹਿਤਕਾਰੀ ਸਬਦ ਸੁਰਤ ਨ ਆਈ ਰੰਗ ਨਰਾਤਾ ਰਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਬਿਤਿਆ ਮਨ ਮੋਖੇ ਪਾਤੇ ਗਵਾਈ ਸਾਧ ਸਭਾ ਮਹ ਸਹਜ ਨ ਚਾਖਿਆ ਜਿਹ ਬਾਰਸ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਾਈ ਮਨ ਤਨ ਤਨ ਆਪਣਾ ਕਰ ਜਾਨਿਆ ਦਰ ਕੀ ਖਬਰ ਨ ਪਾਈ ਅੱਖੀ ਮੀਟ ਚਲਿਆ ਅੰਧਿਆਰਾ ਘਰ ਦਰ ਦਿਸੈ ਨ ਪਾਈ ਜਮ ਦਰ ਬਾਧਾ ਠੌਰ ਨ ਪਾਵੈ ਆਪਣਾ ਕੀਆ ਕਮਾਈ ਨਦਰ ਕਰੇ ਤਾ ਅੱਖੀ ਵੇਖਾਂ ਕਹਣਾ ਕਥਨ ਨ ਜਾਈ ਕੰਨੀ ਸੋਹਣੇ ਸੋਹਣੇ ਸਭ ਦੇ ਸਲਾਹੀ ਅੰਮ੍ਰਿਤ ਹਿਰਦੈ ਵਸਾਈ ਨਿਰਭਉ ਨਿਰੰਕਾਰ ਨਿਰਵੈਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਜੋਤਿ ਸਮਾਈ ਨਾਨਕ ਗੋਰ ਵਿਣ ਭਰਮ ਨ ਭਾਗੈ ਸੱਚ ਨਾਮ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਨਿਰਭਉ ਨਿਰੰਕਾਰ ਨਿਰਵੈਰ ਪੂਰਨ ਜੋਤਿ ਸਮਾਈ ਨਾਨਕ ਗੋਰ ਵਿਣ ਭਰਮ ਨ ਭਾਗੈ ਸੱਚ ਨਾਮ ਵਡਿਆਈ ਹੁਕਮਨਾਮਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ today is the blessing of sri guru nanak dev ji maharaj and satguru sahib ji is speaking to us today in surat ragni guru sahib ji the shabad is in chautuke which means each part of the shabad has chautuke has four lines to it and satguru maharaj sahib ji begins the shabad maaye baap ko beta nika sasra chatur jwai maaye baap to the mother and father beta nika beta means a son the son who is nika the son who is virtuous the son who follows what they say the son who is obedient to them the son who looks after the wealth of his father the son who respects his mother and father maras have ji guru nanak dev ji maharaj tell us that my bab ko beta nika that that son is pleasing to the mother and father sasra chatur jwai and sasra to the in laws a chatur jwai chatur means clever And what does this mean? Someone who's clever, someone who's wise, that son-in-law who can look after their daughter, he is loved, he is respected, he is admired by his in-laws. And Guru Sahib Ji goes on to explain Baal Kanya ko Baap Pyara that to the young, Baal means young, Kanya means daughter, to the young daughter, Baap Pyara, her father is Pyara, her father is beloved. She looks up to she depends upon and she respects her father pai ka ate pai and to a brother his other brothers are at are very very loved by him very very respected and in punjabi brothers are called sajiba which means right arm so 
It's as if the brothers are the limbs of each other. Ammar Asabji talks about all of these worldly connections, all of these worldly relations. And then Mara Sahibji Guru Nandev Ji says, Hukum paya, when the hukum, when the command comes from Akal Puruk, from Vaheguru, Bahar Kar Shodaya. Then what happens? Kar Shodaya. Shodaya means to leave. The soul which, which is within this Kar, this body, has to go Bahar, has to leave and go outside. Hukum paya, Bahar Kar Shodaya. The hukum has come, the command has come that this. Soul must shodia must leave this car, this body, and go bahar, go outside, go into the next reincarnation. And when this soul leaves the body, Mara Sabji says that in a kin, in a second, in an instant, all of those relations, the relations of mother and father, relations of in laws, the relationship of sons and daughters, the relationship of brothers, kin and maha. In a second, pay parai. All of these things become parai. Parai means alien. Literally, parai means in this case that all of those relationships are cut through. All of those relationships are severed. Death comes and it cuts through all of these relationships. That relationship of brother to brother, that relationship of mother to son, that relationship of daughter to father, all of those relationships melt away. And if you think about it, if someone's alive, and we try to burn them, their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, all of those relations, they won't let us burn them. But when that human being dies, when that soul leaves, then we all get together, all of the relations, and we put him or her upon the funeral pyre. In a second, all of those things have been broken. In an instant, all of those relationships have been broken. And Mala Sabji tells us that when our soul leaves, it leaves by itself. None of these relations, none of these connections can help us. And Guru Maharaj in Sukhmani Sahib, Guru Arjun Dev Ji Maharaj tells us, Jaha maat pita sut meet na paai. On that path, our mother, our father, our sons and daughters, our brothers cannot help us. Man, oh my mind, uha naam tere sang sahai. In that place, only the name of the Lord will be sung, will be with you. And Guru Sahib Ji goes on to say, Naam daan is naan na manamuk. That person who follows his mind, who is manamuk, who doesn't listen to what the Guru says, that person doesn't engage in naam, meditating upon the name of the Lord, dan, giving a tenth of his earnings as dasvand, giving to the Guru's causes, giving to the causes of the betterment of humanity, isnan. And mentally, spiritually and physically, he doesn't bathe himself to take away the dirt of those sins. And Guru Sahib Ji says that that person who hasn't engaged in Naam, Daan and Ishnan, that person who hasn't engaged in the meditation upon the Lord, charity and Daya, kindness and Ishnan and spiritual and physical cleanliness, Maharaj Sahib Ji says, that within that person's tan, within that person's body, there is Tumai, Tumai, one interpretation of this word is means a fog. Of tur of dust. What is the dust? The dust is of ego. The dust is of anger. The dust is of desires. The dust is of hatred. And within the body there is this cloud of dust. And on another level, Mara Sahib says that Titan, that that body, tur tumai, ends up, tumai also means to roll in, to roll in tur in the dust. And how does that happen? When we are burnt and when our ashes collect, what happens to them? They are scattered upon the earth. They are scattered into the water. And they just roll back into the dust. And that's all that happens, Mara Sahib Ji says, that with that body, that body which was meant to meditate upon the Lord, that body is simply, is born, lives, dies and becomes dust. And is not used for what it's meant to be used for. And Mara Sahib Ji says, but on the other hand, what is the understandings of the Gurmukh? And Guru Nanak Pasha Ji blesses us. Mara Sahib Ji says, Man manya naam sakai. That those Gurmukhs whose mind has manya, whose mind has accepted, their mind has bowed down to and taken on and understood that Naam Sakai, through the grace of the Guru, that only the Naam, only the name of the Lord is the true relation, Sakai, is the true friend. And where does this understanding come from? 
Mara Sahib Ji says that this understanding comes from the Guru. And Mara Sahib Ji says that Pai Paro, I fall again and again at the Guru's feet. Guru Kaya Bale Haare. Bale Haare. Bale meaning power, strength. Haare means to surrender. When you surrender all your strength to the Guru, when you say that I have no wisdom, Mara Ji, I have no Japatap, no penance or austerities. Mara Sahib Ji, I have no intellect. Mara Sahib Ji, I'm nothing. And you fall at the feet of the Guru and you accept the Guru's sharan, the Guru's protection. Then what happens? Jinasachi buj bujai. Then the Guru gives you the buj, the understanding of truth. Mara Sahib Ji, Guru Nandev Ji, Injab Ji Sahib, they say, Gura ik dehe bujai. Sabana jiya ka ik data. Soma visarna jai. O Gura. Pai paro guru ke balhare mara sahib ji says fall at the feet of the guru and do this ardas gura o guru sahib ji o great lord ik deh bujai please give me the understanding of that one lord that ik ohankar sabna ji aka ik data let me understand that there is one lord pervading through all so mai visarna jai and may i never forget that lord mara sahib ji says fall to the guru's feet surrender all of your wisdom all of your wealth all of your intellect to the guru and say that you have nothing. Go in front of the Guru and do a radas like Guru Arjan Dev Ji says, Japata Pasanyam Tarmana Kamaya. I haven't lived my life righteously. I have no Japata, I have no pendants or austerities. Seva Sadhana Janya Hararaya. I don't know how to perform the service of the Lord. Kahonanak Hamnija Karma. Mara Sahib Ji says that my karam, my fortunes are lowly. Sarna Pareki Rakho Sarma. Just save me, I fall into your feet. That is the way of getting the Satchi Bhuj, the true understanding. Rahao, pause and think about this. Jag siyo choot preet man bedeya. Jan siyo vaad rachai. Mara Sahib Ji says that Jag siyo choot preet. That with this Jag, with this world, we have choot preet. We have false love for this world. For material gains. Man bedeya. And our mind is pierced through with this false love of the world. What does pierced through mean? What does bedeya mean? The, the center of all our thoughts to be pierced through means to pierce through the center of something and our mind what is the center of our mind what is always the center of our attention as we say in English center of attention the center of attention is always material gain is always this world and Vara Sahib Ji says that that's true to breathe that's false love and when we are ego centered we are not God centered Vara Sahib Ji is telling us when we have that egocentric that maya centric that mind which is always revolving around illusion janasyo vadrachai then we even have vad we even have arguments with the jan with the humble servants of the lord that's when we say oh what is the point of listening to kirtan what is the point of doing simran like these people say there's no point that's when we have arguments with the jan there are only arguments with the beloved of the lord we only have those arguments and those excuses and those falling out with the humble beings, when we are in the entanglement of this chut, preet, of this false love. Amara Sahib Ji goes on to tell us, Maya magan ahanus mag jo hai. We are magan, we are completely intoxicated by Maya, by this illusion of the world around us, by material gain. Ahanus, day and night, mag jo hai. We jo hai, we look to, we always walk upon mag, this path, of attachment. Namana leva. And in this path of attachment, we never leva, we never meditate upon the Naam, the name of the Lord. Amara Sahib Ji says, What's the result of this? Mara. We die. How? Bekakai. By kai, by completely gorging ourselves, by eating again, again, again and again poison. And what poison is this? The poison of narcotics on one level. And on another level, the poison of Maya, this illusion of material good. Attachment is a poison. Anger is a poison. And these poisons kill us spiritually and physically. Amara Sahib Ji says, Gandhana van Ratta Hitakari, that we are Ratta, we are completely imbued with Hitakari, and we have so much love for Gandhana van. Van means those sounds, that speech. Gandhana, which is impure, which is vicious. 
which is eating away at us. We always listen to slander, which is eating away at us spiritually. We always listen to those things which make our mind go into desire. Amara Sahib Ji says, That the man the being who follows his mind, does not have surat, does not have consciousness, doesn't wake up, doesn't have the surti, doesn't have the consciousness of the Shabbat. The consciousness of the manmuk never wakes up to the Shabbat. Sabda suratna ai. Rangna rata, Mara Sahib Ji says that the one who follows his mind, Rangna rata, is not coloured in the rang, in the love of God. Rasana hi bedya. And is not bedya, is not pierced through by the essence of the naam, the ras of the naam, the pleasure of God's name. Why? Because we, our mind is pierced through at the moment with worldly pleasures. And we have to change this in order to have the naam pleasure, the pleasure of God's name. Amara Sahib Ji says that our mind is not pierced through by the pleasure of God's name, the ras of God's name. Manmukhapatagavai. And in this way, the one who follows his mind loses all respect, loses all honor. Saad Sabah Mah Sahajna Chakya. In the Sabah, in the company of the Saad of the Saints, Sahajna Chakya. That being does not chakya, does not taste the essence of Sahaj, the essence of complete spiritual peace. Jihba Rasanahi Rai. And because of this, and because of not going into the Sangha, the Mara Sahibji says that Jihba. Upon that being's tongue of the manmuk, the one who follows his mind, there is no ras, there is no sweetness on their tongue. Whenever they speak, it's always full of anger. It's always full of curses for others. And we don't have the ras, upon our tongue we don't have the ras of naam. We don't have the essence, the sweetness of God's name. The Gurmukh Pyare, forever and forever, by meditating upon Vaheguru, their tongue is sweetened by God's name. But those who follow the mind, they don't experience this sweetness. Amara Sahib Ji says, Man tan tan apna kar janya. That we have janya, we have known, we have called our man, our mind, the tan, the body, and the tan, the wealth. The mind within this body, and then the wealth which is gathered together by this body, we have said that this is ours, this all belongs to me. And in this ego, in this attachment, in this blindness, dar ki khabar na pai. Mara Sahib Ji says that the manmuk, the one who follows his or her mind, doesn't have the khabar, doesn't find the knowledge of the dar, of the door of the Lord. And what does this mean? That those of us who are engaged in ego, we never wake up and have the knowledge of the Sangat, never go into the Sangat. Why? Because we're too much attached to our mind, to our body, to our wealth. And we think, what is the point of going into the Sangat? We do not have that knowledge, we do not have that awakening to the Sangat. Amara Sahib Ji says, chalea andhyara, karo dara disana pai. When we close our eyes, and what does that mean when we die? Akhi meet chalea. When we have to leave this world and our eyes close forever and forever, andhyara. Then we go into the deepest darkness. Kara dara disana pai. Amara Sahib Ji says that when you leave this world, if you have lived your life in the darkness of ignorance, Mara Sahib Ji says that at the court of the Lord, at the court of the Lord, no one will say, oh, he was from this car, he was from this social status, or he had this much money, or he, this was his dar, this was how big his house was, or he had this much. No. As Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj tells us in Asadivar, Only the truth is looked through then. Only what we have done is looked through then. When we go to the court of Taram Raja, of the judge of righteousness, and this line also means Akimi to Chalya and The Chalya we walk along with our eyes closed. We are walking along with our eyes closed and and this is the darkness. 
One type of darkness is when there's darkness all around, our eyes are open and we're looking for somewhere, for some light, but we can't find any. That's one type of darkness. The second type of darkness is when we've closed our own eyes. Amara said, says the one who's following his mind, he's closed his own eyes. Ampad Kabirji puts this beautifully in one of their slogs. Kahe ki kuslat. What is going on here? Heart deep kuhe pare. In his hand, the being has got a deep, has got a light, and kuhe pare, but still falls into the well. Mara Sahibji is telling us, Akhi meet, we've closed our eyes to the truth. The light is all around us. The Guru is always telling us the truth. But we close our eyes to the truth of the Guru. Kar, dar, desana, pai. And we do not understand the kar, the true house of our being. Where we're truly going to reside. In Akal Purk, in Vaheguru. Jamdar badha thawar na pawe. Amara Sahibji says that that being is badha, is tied up to the dar, to the door of jam. Of the angels of death, torn up our, and never finds any rest. In this world, always attacked by desires, and in the next world, by the jamduts, the angels of death. Apna ki yakmai. Amara Sabji says that everyone has to kamai, has to reap what they have sown. Apna kiya of their karm, of their actions. And in this last part of the Shabbat, Amara Sabji says, Nadar kareta akhiveka. If Maharaj Sahibji blesses us with nadar, with the glance of grace, then with our own eyes we can see him pervading through all. Like Pai Kanayaji walking through the Muslim, Hindu and Sikh soldiers and seeing Vaheguruji, seeing Satguruji, Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj looking back at him through all of their eyes. Kahana Kathana Jai, but Maharaj Ji says that this avasta, this state of being, cannot be put into words, cannot be put into katan, cannot be put into description. Kanni Swarna Swarna Savad Salahi. What happens in this avastha, this state of being? Kanni, sorna, sorna. Those Guru Mukhpare say, May I continually, sorna, sorna, again and again, listen with my ears to the Shabbat. And with my tongue, may I salahi, may I sing the praises of the Shabbat, of the word of the Lord. Amrit Ridai Vasai. And may I Vasai, may I embed within my heart the Amrit, the immortal nectar of God's name. That is that avastha, that is that state of being. Nirpao, Niranka, Nirvair. And if we ask Guru Sahib Ji, what is God like? Maharaj Ji says that God is nirpao, completely fearless. Narankar, beyond all forms. Nirvar, and without any enmity. Doesn't see anyone as an enemy. Puran Jod Samai. And that Vaheguru Ji's Jod, that Vaheguru Ji's light is Samai, is pervading through all. And Maharaj Sahib Ji says that those Gurmukh Pyare who reach this Avasta, they Samai, they merge into this Puran Jod. And Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj tells us, Puran Jyot Jagai Katme Tab Khalas Tahe Nakhalas Jane. That the true purity comes through merging into this light. This Puran Jyot, this perfect light. Nanak Sadguru Pacha Ji says, Gurvin Parmana Pagai. Without the Guru Param, our doubts cannot Pagai, cannot be dispelled, cannot be taken away. Only through the Guru, only through Guru Prasad. As Guru Sahib Ji tells us in their Bani, Guru Prasad, through the Guru's grace, Param Kanas. Doubts are destroyed. And how are the doubts destroyed? Sat Naam When the Guru gives us the Vidyay, the glory of Sat Naam, that true name, that eternal name of the Lord. Only through meditating upon the name of the Lord, and only through meditating upon the Vidyay, the glory of the Lord, can this Param, can these doubts be removed. And that is only found through Guru Prasad, through the Guru's grace. Nirpa Nirankar Nirvaru Puran Jyoti Samai Nanak Gurvin Parman Pagai Satya Naam Vadeai Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh